front and an endless mystery all taking place in central Alabama. It's got the attention of 16 million people who have downloaded a new podcast called S Town. In an interview you'll only see here on WVTM 13, our very own Marley Martinez tracked down one of the main characters for the behind the scenes story. I had a bunch of junk piled up under here. And when we got to Woodstock in Bibb County, this is where we found Tyler Goodson. I'm just making her some new bases for some new cushions since the old ones is wore out. Working on projects in his shop. Everything's a project around here. In a way, Tyler was a project himself, a project for John B. McLemore, the man who took Goodson under his wing. Their friendship spotlighted in the wildly popular podcast, S-Town. From Serial and This American Life, I'm Brian Reed. This is town. Yeah, it was a surprise. I'm like, Brian, why would anybody care about anything to do with my pitiful old life? The story, downloaded by more than 16 million people worldwide, focused on Macklemore. John? Hello. Hi, it's Brian. Hey. An antique clock restorer and crop maze harvester, highly critical of his hometown Woodstock, which he dubbed S-Town, the S short for an expletive. It has become that and all the corrupt crookedness of Bibb County in general, which I'm sure, you know, it's happening all over the world, but hell, one town ain't no better than the next. According to the podcast, McLemore's home became a haven for Woodstock misfits. He suffered extreme depression, eventually killing himself by drinking cyanide. It's an hourglass. Goodson got this tattoo in John B's memory. And I told him that I was going to get it for him one day. He was a brilliant individual, but he was uh, a nutcase. Goodson listened to the podcast himself recently. I squalled my eyes out uh, the first few hours of it and then couldn't crawl out of my room for a while and still can't hardly. This is where John McLemore used to live. You can see it's gated off now, so you can't see his property up close, but on Google Maps, you can still see his crop maze. When McLemore died, there was rumor he left behind mounds of gold bars hidden somewhere on his property. That treasure never found. It's an interesting story overall, I guess, outside looking in, but me being a part of it, it's a whole different story. In Woodstock, Marley Martinez, WVTM 13.